Hey everyone, I'm Chang Wen for Gotta Be Mobile and Notebooks.com. In this video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the multi-window view on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. As you've read in our review of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, the device has a 5.5 inch and is often lovingly uh, referred to as a phablet as it uh, straddles the smartphone and tablet um, ecosystems with a larger but yet portable display. Essentially, with multi-window view, uh, the feature allows you to run two applications side by side, so it allows you to simultask or run or do two tasks simultaneously, so it allows you to um, prevent having to jump in between screens and juggle between apps um, that way. So the multi-window view is available as a software update on the Sprint uh, Galaxy Note 2, so if you don't already have it on your device, you may want to check your device's settings and pull the update that way. On the Verizon Galaxy Note 2, it is available on launch on the device, so you don't have to do anything further. T-Mobile's and AT&T's version will likely get a software update in the future to enable the functionality. So once you do have the functionality on your device, what you want to do is go to the Android notification bar here up top, and then you see the scrollable widget bar here, and then you'll want to enable multi-window view. Here it is highlighted in green, so it is enabled. Once it's enabled, um, if you don't see it already, um, what you want to do is hold um, press and hold the uh, back button and you see this tray here pop up on the left hand side and it will allow you to uh, scroll through and pick the apps that you want to run. Uh, you can go ahead and hide the tray and you still have this little tab that pops out and the nice thing about uh, multi-window view with this tab is that it does allow you to have some flexibility. So you can go ahead and move the tab, say slide it up a little if you don't want it blocking uh, the Google here, uh, the search bar in the center. You can slide it down as well and uh, reposition the tab however you want. Additionally, if you don't like um, the folder here for multi-window view on the left hand side, you can go ahead and reposition it. Once it's open, you can go ahead and drag it out to the bottom. You can just grab the tab and drag it to the right hand side or grab it and drag it to the top if you want it that, um, in that location. Let's go ahead and leave it on the left hand side for now. So these are all the applications that you can run um, simultaneously. Unfortunately, not all third party and not all native applications will work with multi-window view. Um, these are the apps that are, will work by default. Um, some of them are native apps, such as the Gmail app, the email application, gallery, uh, Google Maps, messaging, um, S-Note, and Polaris Office. Other applications I have downloaded, and they are third-party applications such as Chrome or Facebook and Twitter. So um, there is integration for third-party apps as well, but Samsung will have to approve those apps and make it work. So unfortunately, not every app will work. So let's go ahead and um, in order to launch an app, all you would have to do is either uh, tap on it to launch it. So here we're launching Facebook, or you can go ahead and essentially drag it to the um, to the main pane. So I'm dragging the YouTube app. So now we're running Facebook and YouTube. Let's go ahead and actually open the Chrome browser. So here I have two applications running. In portrait mode they're running um, one on top of the other and in landscape mode, they're running side by side. And you can go ahead and scroll through. You can go ahead um, and even launch. Let's go ahead and launch this amplified video. So this is um, an iPad mini uh, car mount. These guys are creating a car mount for the iPad mini, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video there. But essentially, you can see that you can run two apps simultaneously, and the Galaxy Note 2 does have a quad-core Exynos processor along with a 5.5-inch display and 2 gigs of RAM. So there should be plenty of horsepower to run two apps side by side. 
On the Verizon edition, you'll essentially have a very similar experience to the uh, Sprint version. However, on Verizon, you'll see that um, this tray here doesn't scroll and you're limited to these apps that are displayed here. And um, unfortunately, the selection is more limited than on Sprint's version. You won't have access to say Chrome, which has been downloaded, Facebook and Twitter. So you're mostly limited to just the native apps here. I've already launched the browser. Let's go ahead and launch the email here on the bottom. So if I'm on Gotta Be Mobile right now, and you know I see this cool link, should I buy the iPhone or the Galaxy S3, and I want to send it to my friend. Instead, before, I would have to um, go ahead and copy the URL, and then close out of this app, go home to the home screen, and then find the email application and launch it. Here I can do both of them at the same time um, so I can still see the email application and also the web browser. So I can just go ahead and type in my friend's email address and then we're gonna go ahead and paste it here. And then the nice thing is that once you're in the multi-window view, um, you do have this keyboard and the keyboard is repositionable as well. So here um, we're going to move the keyboard to the top because the window is down here. We don't want to, you know, block the window for the email application once you're in it with a full keyboard. So that's a nice feature. And then you can go ahead and just hit the home button and it will take you home. So unfortunately, um, we already have the browser running. You can't run two browser windows side by side. So um, you can run two apps, but not two browser windows. So this has been the, the experience of multi-window view on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Um, the experience is currently available again on Sprint and Verizon. Um, it, the experience is more full on the Sprint version compared to the Verizon model. And hopefully it will be coming via a software update from Samsung to other carriers such as AT&T and T-Mobile. I'm Chang Wen for Gotta Be Mobile and Notebooks.com. Thanks for watching this video of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2.